Joining us now is the sheriff of L.A. County, Robert Luna. Mr. Sheriff, that's the first time we've gotten to call you <laughs> Sheriff Luna on this show. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you both, and thank you for having me on your show this evening. All right, so, so let's talk about the fact that you are actually the sheriff. You've been running for this job for a long time. How does it feel to actually be in there, and maybe what's different about being in there than you might have thought beforehand? Well, uh, to start off, I mean, I'm extremely humbled and proud uh, to be part of this uh, great organization, a uh, great tradition here at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And my first week and a couple of days has been amazing. Uh, and you asked uh, what probably, uh, uh, probably took me by surprise is the welcome that I've received by uh, the community and specifically the employees here at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. I could not feel more welcomed. I could not have better people around me who are just energized and want just this department to move forward and do great things for our community. We're looking at the moment when you were actually sworn in last week. What a moment that must have been for you and your wife. Uh, you, you talk about this warm welcome. You are in charge of some 18,000 employees. That's a whole lot of people, Sheriff. And certainly some of them did vote for your predecessor. So knowing that, how are you going to work to win everybody over and get everybody on the same page? I'm talking about uh, principal leadership and moving forward. Uh, it's just like in our community, right? Uh, you had people vote for uh, my predecessor or myself, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm the new sheriff of Los Angeles County, and I'm going to work for every community member, whether you voted for me or not. And the same goes for our employees. We have wonderful employees here. Uh, the majority of them, I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of them, uh, want to come to work. They want to do a great job. They want to serve our community. And I'm going to take that energy, that momentum, and I'm going to move this organization forward. As I talked about during the campaign, the, the vision is we want to create a 21st century sheriff's department, one that everybody comes to. Uh, for looking at doing law enforcement, custody operations, court operations uh, into the future. Yeah, we saw your predecessor, Sheriff Alex Villanueva, out in the streets with his cowboy hat talking about homelessness in Venice and the VA, other places. The news of this day is the L.A. City Council has approved Mayor Karen Bass's state of emergency when it comes to homelessness. What do you see as the Sheriff's Department role within that state of emergency? Uh, and, and, and sort of larger, the role when it comes to homelessness in L.A. County. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, Mayor uh, Karen Bass. She's a, a wonderful person. I've worked with her in the past uh, when I was at Major City Chiefs on national policing efforts. So I'm really looking forward to working with her. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see she's taking uh, these very proactive steps uh, to address uh, what is really a humanitarian crisis on the streets of the city of Los Angeles and the county of Los Angeles. And I'm looking forward uh, to working uh, with her. Uh, there is uh, uh, Sarah Dussault, who also worked uh, as a volunteer on my campaign, I know has been advising her. Uh, she's a wonderful person who is very passionate about the unhoused, the mentally ill, and the addicted, and I'm looking forward as to how the members or the men and women of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department and really our entire county family is going to help uh, to participate and be proactive in trying to get uh, our most vulnerable off the streets. Let's talk a little bit about what happened almost a month ago. That was that fateful morning in November when 25 recruits were run down. What is the latest with them? How is that recovery? And what's the update on that investigation, Sheriff? Uh, that was a, a very uh, sad uh, morning for not only uh, the men and women of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, but realistically our entire community. And that's, uh, we, we got notes from all over the world from law enforcement agencies. These young men and women who want to, they're tr being trained to serve our community. Uh, one of my first acts as the new sheriff, I went to go visit uh, one of the recruits uh, and his family. Uh, that, uh, and 
m the mom was asking for our prayers. So I continue to ask our community uh, to, to be with us in partnership and still uh, praying for the families uh, and the recruits who are still in very serious condition. Uh, one, in extremely critical condition. But you know what? Just like his family, uh, he's a fighter. Uh, so we need to continue to support them. Uh, the investigation uh, is still ongoing, and we're working uh, with uh, several other agencies uh, to make sure that we're not missing anything. And at the end of the day, uh, the facts and evidence will guide us uh, the best way forward. Sheriff Robert Luna, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you and your family. Any favorite holiday traditions? Uh, tamales. It's all about tamales and pozoles uh, for uh, this kid from East L.A. And I'm sure uh, many of you out there will enjoy some. But please, for everybody, all your viewers, have a peaceful, mm -hmm. healthy. And remember, there's people out there who either need food or our help during this holiday season. Don't forget about our neighbors. All right, Sheriff. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you.